Hey there everyone, Redneck Brian here. Okay, I guess this will be my last video of 2012. So, I haven't really showed how much snow we actually have. I believe I mentioned it the other day, um, in my last video, and I was having problems getting the tractor started because of the cold and stuff like that. I believe I mentioned it. I'm not 100% sure now. So, here's what we got. If you can see it, uh, let the low light adjust of my camera. Uh, might be able to see it best right here. I don't know how much you'll be able to see or not. That's the roof of the doghouse. That's, that's just an old tractor seat sitting there. But the uh, main reason why I'm out here is I'm still having a problem getting the LT2000 to start up. Battery's dead now and also having trouble getting the roper to start. The Red Rocket doesn't necessarily need to run because it currently does not have a battery. I had to give up the battery in it to a friend of mine who needed one. Um, this is actually the battery that was I got in trade. Uh, it's actually it's my van um, that a friend of mine has and um, needed the battery so I gave up the Red Rockets battery and the person's basically the person is uh, buying the van off of me so Anyways, there's the battery that was in the van, and Red Rocket sacrificed its battery. So you're thinking, oh, the Red Rocket had a much smaller battery. Yes, it did. So I had to do a little bit of redneck engineering to make the battery hold in there, but it's all good now. So anyways, I'm going to do some work on that, and I'm going to try to get the roper in here, and possibly put that big battery that I just showed you in the roper tomorrow. But the roper's frozen right now, um, the lines are as far as I know, and the battery's dead. So I'm going to try to get the roper in here, and the roper is going to give up its battery, and I'm going to put its battery in the LT2000 if I can't get the fuel lines unfrozen on the LT2000. I actually put this stuff in it right here, but I'm not sure if it has to run through. It's an STP. It's a... Uh, all, seal, all sealant water remover. It's a water remover and it basically prevents uh, fuel lines from freezing up which they've already froze up. So anyways I'm going to work on that. Hopefully I can get the LT2000 running and uh, stay tuned. Um, I'll be out here for a little while. i got my jumper pack. I'll try to start the LT2000 and try to start the roper. It's a little bit milder today but not by much. Uh, good news, uh, the LT2000 is now running, as you can hear it out there. Let me open the door up for a second. I do not know if the stuff I put in the fuel tank has helped, but it would not start earlier today. So that's all I can say, it, was not, it would not start about five hours ago. Um, but it was on a dead battery, or a pretty low battery. So, I'm happy it's running now. I can actually probably put a little bit more of this stuff in there and let it uh, run through the fuel system. And hopefully it will be okay. I'm just gonna let it run there for about 10 minutes. I gotta move it out of the way. I don't know if the roper's gonna start. And I gotta stick it on the charger as well. Actually, both of them on the charger. Um, but I'm happy it, it's running. Uh, I fired up the jumper pack. If you can see that little green light out there. That's just the jumper pack. But anyways, I'm going to finish up and uh, stay okay, tuned. As you can see, the big roper racer is in the shop, and hopefully tomorrow I will drive it out of here. Uh, I ended up having to take the mower deck back out. It's sitting right here. I know you can't see it it's sitting up against the snowblower. Um, I gotta find I gotta find a spot for that mower deck mainly. Uh, that's that's the issue. I've had it up against that ladder. I've had it outside. I've had it up against the ladder again. I tried to stick it between the big Onan and the compressor, but it wouldn't go. And I don't really want to damage that uh, window back there either. It's a pretty good window. So, anyways, this is in here. I'll crank up the heat on it tomorrow. I'm gonna put this hood up. Uh, hopefully, uh, some of this don't melt off overnight. It actually gets it gets kind of warm in here because it's uh, fairly sheltered. Even though there is no insulation and there's quite a few holes, it is actually pretty warm in here in general so but I guess the uh, LT2000 was the uh, last cold start of 2012 and hopefully the roper 
other than the LT2000, will be the first cold starts of 2013, tomorrow. The Red Rocket, if I can get it moved, and if I can get it into the shop, I will try to do a cold start on it, but um, it's really no no hurry on that. I got to actually go out and get a uh, um, a hole saw bit so I can put the, the gauges in the dash. Same with on this, most likely at the end of January, I'll go out and get that bit. I have a larger hole saw bit somewhere, so it has the adapter on it that I need, but uh, it's either up there or somewhere on this shelf. So while the LT2000 was running, I put some more of this uh, that water stuff in the fuel tank. I put some in the, this generator right here, which I'm actually going to do a cold start on it, on it maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. And I put some in that red gas can over there, which that can, can actually has a uh, number three high 92 octane in it. So it has high octane fuel in it, which is good. It's better for winter anyways. So, and also I found out the fuel pump for that generator is stuffed. Before I go try to start it again, I'm going to have to put a new fuel pump on it. Or I'm going to see about putting a vacuum fuel pump on both of them. If I can find a uh, vacuum spot on the crankcase or on the valve covers. Where I can uh, get some vacuum off of. Which will work a lot better than the electric fuel pumps. I guess that's pretty much it for 2012. And, uh... I guess I'll see everyone in uh, 2013. So I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.